Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we are going to be looking at some tips on how to spot a reblued broom handle. Now, these are just some things that I have seen from experience. Uh, you may have your own tips, and I would love to hear them in the comment section. Um, the difference with this video over a lot of how to spot a reblued gun is that the reblue on this gun is one of the best I have ever seen. And really, I think it would fool a lot of new collectors. So we'll just take a look at, at that and some of the things that are kind of a dead giveaway to me at least. Um, so your bottom gun is a standard pre-war commercial. This one is actually in nine millimeter export caliber and we've uh, done another video on the nine millimeter export caliber. Uh, this one is in the 70,000 serial number range. Kind of an interesting gun, uh, pretty rare caliber. It is actually covered with some protective grease so it is a pretty shiny gun. But again, that grease would w wipe right off. Um, nothing particularly amazing about it from the outside other than it is a 9 export and this gun has already been cleared so we'll be looking at the muzzle end here and that is your big bore of a 9 export <clears throat> versus your 7.63 Mauser. Now this is the reblued gun. I mean as you can see those markings on the side stayed nice and sharp. There's no real loss on there. Um, I'll look at it a little bit better and a little bit different angle here. Your panel milling stayed nice and sharp as well. You can even see the machine marks that were left on the gun. Although, when you look at one you can see they're really sort of the same. So that's not going to be a surefire way. Really what gives the other gun away is if you look at the top of a non-refinished broom handle, this one has lost most all of its fire blue on the upper part. But as you can see, this rear sight cursor was fire blued. Your rear sight you had fire blue running along the groove here of your rear tangent sight. Your extractor was fire blued. Your bolt is fairly dull oh, from age. Uh, look at the back here. Your hammer is also in a gray state, even though it, it was left in the white, but they kind of a grayish white. And it's just over time and age, it's gotten a little more gray. It's not super shiny. Your hammer as well is not super shiny. It just sort of matches the overall look of the gun. And you can see those markings obviously are nice and sharp. This gun's never been reblued. Look at our reblued gun here. First dead giveaway. You have everything nice and polished. That rear sight cursor is still a little bit dark, but really not much. You have absolutely no fire blue left anywhere on your rear tangent sight. It is completely shiny and looks like it's chromed practically. Your bolt is the same way. That's just overly shiny your extractor has definitely been buffed and redone flip this gun over looking at the back especially the hammer you can see how the hammer has been polished and it's far shinier than a hammer on even a newer gun would be I have seen unfired broom handles that don't have a hammer as shiny as this guy. So this has definitely, definitely been at least polished. 
and the finish on this gun you can just see some rounding on your panel milling on your borders there versus this one it's just a little bit sharper and just a little bit crisper if you will another thing taking a look at the crown u proof that pretty much all broom handles are going to have right here we can actually see it in decent light see that's pretty prominent right there and also your serial number on the barrel flat is going to be nice and prominent as well although kind of poorly stamped this guy the crown u is starting to lose some of its definition there as you can see definitely not as crisp as what you're going to be looking at on this guy so those are just a couple of things to look for really again the dead giveaway is just the upper anytime you see a rear sight that looks like this that is so in the white and a hammer that's been polished like this and especially a bolt and extractor like that it's a pretty good sign this gun has been redone the other thing is the entire polish of the gun is a little bit too polished most broom handles were a little more uh, a dull blue than this this one definitely is not i do think it's one of the best re-blues i've seen it is a very nice gun when it was redone and i think it's a very old refinish this gun dates to about 1909 1910 115,000 serial number range it is an old old reblue probably at the military level i believe and uh, definitely not a one-off i think there was probably a few that were redone a, uh, the same way in a batch because this is a very professional job <clears throat> and would fool most people so just want to give you a, a kind of a heads up on what to look for the other thing that somebody did is marked tried to mark 763 under there and only got the 63 millimeter so not really sure who did that i'm not sure if that was done at the time it was brought into the united states or what but that's what you'd be looking at on that one so just something to consider there are a lot of reblue broom handles out there a lot of very nice jobs um, whether or not that really affects your decision to purchase is up to you but uh, even a really nice looking gun can have had something done to it whereas something like this guy is all original not nearly as good looking but this is an original gun so just something to think about if you are contemplating a purchase if you have questions drop them in the comments and if you enjoy what you're seeing and certainly more broom handles more militaria and everything in between uh, we'll be doing more videos for you thanks for watching